100 grand today. They're headed by Bygones of Brid, 200 to 1, beaten by Peddler's Cross at Kelso last time. Clark's choice should like conditions, but 50 to 1. He was behind Menorah last time. A bit of work to do. Dungwib remains a horse of huge potential and came back with a win at Gorham Park. Hurricane Fly, unbeaten in three starts. The hope of Ireland here. Ireland have won seven of the last 12. Kaiba Kim, runner-up last year behind Binocular, 12 to 1, 12 months on. Menora, beautiful horse, 7 to 2. Richard Johnson, Philip Hobbs, and a great record at Cheltenham. Mill Chief coming good for Alan King and Robert Thornton, who've just won the last race. Eight is Oscar Whiskey. Looking to give Barry Geraghty and Nicky Henderson a change of luck here after three straight seconds. Overturn likely to make the running. Graham Lee for Donald McCain and make the running for stable companion Peddler's Cross, who is unbeaten in eight starts, nine to two. And finally, Thousand Stars, not a complete no hope here. 25 to one, won the county hurdle at this meeting last year. Well, they might not be last year's champion in it binocular but it's still a fascinating race and we just had a close-up look of menorah he's a really pretty horse he'd win in a show lost in the stand dames champion hurdle then faster still when they turn up the wick as the race rushes to its climax the honor roll includes names held in imperishable affection by the racing public and with no past winner in the field, in a few minutes, there will be a new hurdles boss. Menorah, Peddler's Cross, Hurricane Fly, they're a fearsome threesome, but this race can spring surprises. In the last seven years, we've had winners at 22 and 33 to one. The title champion hurdler is up for grabs, and Simon Holt is your commentator. And it is one of the most prestigious titles in the sport of horse racing in this country hurricane fly is now favorite again news from the ring there from mac hurricane fly coming in for a good deal of support ireland having a good record in the champion likes of Isterbrek and hardy eustace and brave inca and sublimity and they're about to be called in overturn at the forefront hurricane fly the 11 to 4 favorite for the 2011 stan james champion hurdle overturn leading them in from bygones of bridge his overturn stable companion peddlers cross in the blue cap same ownership these two horses blue cap on peddlers cross they're walking forward in a controlled manner for the big race of the day on the first day of the cheltenham festival and they're away and racing a tremendous cheer goes up from the stands as overturn leads the way from bygones of brid and peddlers cross over in third and then oscar whiskey was fourth from menorah doug in the black sleeves the royal blue jacketed hurricane fly ruby walsh aboard the favorite on the inside followed by kaiba kim and then mill chief and thousand stars and clark's choice is at the back of the field and now overturn begins to roll along chased by bygones of brid in second place and they've got about six lengths on peddlers cross as they make the long run towards the second flight oscar whiskey is fourth from menorah in fifth place richard johnson on the inside tracked by hurricane fly dunguib and brian o'connell out wide then mill chief kaiba kim thousand stars and clark's choice as overturn comes into flight number two jumps it boldly and well bygones of brid over in second and they're all very quick there to the other side of flight number two as they race in front of the stands. Peddlers crosses third. Oscar Whiskey in fourth place, then Menorah, followed by Hurricane Fly and Dunguib, the two Irish runners racing in tandem, tracked by Mill Chief, tucked away on the inside with Kaiba Kim to his outside. Wider still is the Grey Thousand Stars and Clark's Choice at the tail of the field. Overturn leading them into the back straight. Confirmation that Hurricane Fly went off the 11 to 4 favourite from Menorah at 3 to 1. And it's overturn by four or five five lengths to bygones of Brid. Peddler's Cross on the inside is third, followed by Oscar Whiskey. Then Menorah in fifth place. Very few changes in the order. Oh, Menorah jumped that very fast indeed. Jump past Oscar Whiskey there. Further back is Hurricane Fly. And then uh, Dunguib to the outside. Kaiba Kim, Thousand Stars, Mill Chief and Clark's Choice. The pace looks really hot now down this back straight. 
and overturned by six lengths or so to bygones of Brid and Peddlers Cross second and third. Then Oscar Whiskey and Menorah on the inside as they take the next, followed by Dunguib and Kyber Kim and Thousand Stars. Hurricane Fly with about two behind him at the moment as they begin the run left-handed now towards the fourth last flight and it's overturned. Still out in front, Peddlers Cross is stable companion now going into second place as they make this turn under Jason Maguire on the outside by Gonza Brid and their overturns lead was greatly reduced with Peddlers Cross about three parts of a length down in second. Menorah's on the inside of Oscar Whiskey as they make the top turn. Um, Hurricane Fly still hemmed in on the inside out wider by Gonza Brid and these are chased by Dunguib, Thousand Stars, Kai Kim is niggled a bit from Clark's choice and Mill Chief drops to the tail of the field. Running downhill they've got three flights left to jump overturn galloping on again from Peddlers Cross then Oscar Whiskey and Menorah out wide Kyber Kim for pressure then by Gonza Brid Hurricane Fly still held on to him behind by Ruby Walsh over three out not much to choose between overturn Peddlers Cross and Oscar Whiskey Menorah being pushed along now in fourth thousand stars fifth Hurricane Fly still traveling really well in behind them here now is the second last Oscar Whiskey and Peddlers Cross look like taking it together Oscar Whiskey landed just ahead of Peddlers Cross who got a slap with the whip they're chased by Menorah and Hurricane Fly still cruising along on the bridle as they run round the final turn with one flight to jump in the champion and it's Peddlers Cross and Oscar Whiskey now joined by Hurricane Fly Menorah is back in fourth place and Hurricane Fly has been travelling much the best and quickens up to join Peddlers Cross as they race to the final flight and it's Hurricane Fly just led Peddlers Cross is battling on well Hurricane Fly and Ruby Walsh Peddlers Cross and Jason McGuire defending his unbeaten record but Hurricane Fly has got half a length and forges on and Hurricane Fly wins the champion a win for Ireland another champion hurdle winner for Ireland in the hands of Ruby Walsh for Willie Mullins in second Peddlers Cross Oscar Whiskey third a thousand stars might have got through for fourth ahead of Menorah then Clark's choice Kyber Kim Dunguib over to Mill Chief and bygones of Red and this horse travelled like much the best horse in the race for most of the way. Hurricane Fly, who's unbeaten this season, been beating Solwit every time the horses have met over across the Irish Sea. He was unproven in this country, one or two aborted plans in the past, but this time he's turned up in tremendous form on Champion Hurdle Day, and Ruby Walsh riding with tremendous consideration and patience, bided his time, but he had so much horse under him, and going towards the final flight, he joined Peddler's Cross, he was quickening up well, Peddler's Cross fought on well, but Hurricane Fly was always doing enough to be the Champion Hurdler of 2011. Ruby, you just asked me how far you won, half a length from Peddler's Cross. Half a length's all I deserve to win. I never got him the second, really. He ran keen, but we know he has the unbelievable speed and class, but those that were doubting their goats saw what Willie Mullins and Paul Townend, and, and we always believed he had. He's a, he's a deserved champion, and he's a right at last. He's only tiny, isn't he? Oh, he's a big heart, though. <laughs> <laughs> and he needed it today, because I probably got there a fraction sooner than I wanted to, but... He just never gave me a chance early doors. Don't give a stuck on me boot and he was on my hands all the way, but uh geez, I'm glad he won. <laughs> Ruby, it's just amazing to think that only three weeks ago you still had a cast on your leg. Yeah, I know, but um look as I said after the first race, um my body was healing, but a lot of people got me here. A lot of people and so I'm very grateful to them. Well done. I'm very grateful to Willie Mullins and Paul Nichols. They, they put me straight back on these horses and that's the people said about riding winners, the confidence you want is in the people you're working for. And they had the confidence in me. Yeah. Well, so are the punters. Well done. Cheers.